All right, everybody. Hello. It is day four of the Micro versus Dylan Lagoon Road to 1K total level on a hardcore Iron Man challenge. Uh, we are currently sitting at 684. Micro has broken into the 800 range. Uh, so we have to catch up. I at least want to stay under 100 total levels away from him. Even if we lose, as long as I'm within 100, I will honestly be, I'll be happy with that. But we are still going to try to do everything we can to win because his leveling is slowing down. He got Evil Dave's done today, which is one of our big goals. So we're going to work on that as well as some other things like skill requirements for it. Like we need 30 agility. We need um, 30 crafting. So we're actually going to start out with agility and crafting and then do the cash after we do those at the one hour mark just to avoid all the people doing it at reset. And then once we get into that and after the cash, we might hop and do some farming uh, and then do something like uh, Demon Slayer, start doing quests to work up towards Evil Dave's big day out. As of right now, all we have is the first and second uh, recipe for disasters, Shadow of the Storm, and Demon Slayer to do. And then we can do Evil Dave's big day out. The longest one is going to either be Shadow of the Storm or the second RFD, just because uh, Shadow of the Storm has that fight that I'm kind of worried about. And then uh, RFD has the thing with catching the rats, which is going to be a mess. Because uh, the last time I did it on my main, it took forever. So hopefully we can figure out how to do it correctly this time. And uh, save some time on it compared to what I did uh, the last time I did that quest. We'll have to wait and see. There's about four minutes until we can start. So I'm going to go get into the stream now. Uh, welcome everybody that's in the chat and whatnot. And then we will start getting into the gains. All right. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, and I will see you guys once we start doing the crafting training. All right, thank you guys again, and we'll see what we can do today. Okay, well, it is officially zero, so we're going to go to Birthorpe and get this started. Uh, we have to do some proto leather crafting to get 30 crafting in uh, Damonheim. So we're going to try to work towards that. It's really fast, actually, if, as long as we get good, uh, like, rusty coin drops in uh, Damonheim. So it's just a matter of kind of RNG for that, but we should be able to do this relatively quickly because it is a 100 XP per tick thing, and it's only a level 9 method as well. So we just have to find our ring, get that, and then get the heck out of here and start training some crafting. So now that we're here, we just have to make sure we loot everything just so we can sell it, get some more coins, get on our way to getting some crafting levels here. So let's just loot this next room over here. Okay, so now we have 30 crafting that took way too long because we got, we got cucked by a couple of dungeons there that kind of ruined us. But Let's leave, and then we'll go uh, do the cash, and then after the cash, we'll do some agility training, and then work on some quests. Hopefully the agility training doesn't take as long as everything else has, but we'll have to wait and see. So, that was a pretty god-awful cash. Uh, we're at about 40 divination now, but we only got about like 52 points, because we checked like three worlds, and they all had five people in them, so we just settled for one. But uh, now we're going to go work on agility, because we need 30, and uh, we'll see what happens. We might just have to end up resorting to getting the quest done and maybe doing the rest of the levels later, but we'll have to see. So now that we have 30 agility, let's go uh, to the museum because I we might have some kudos and some knowledge to give to that guy to get a lamp, as far as I know. If not, then uh, we'll just go do some summoning, but it's a risk we're going to take. So that lamp from that guy gave us two hunter levels, so let's head off and do some summoning now. We have to figure out where we can buy some uh, some raw chickens. We can turn them into Dreadfell pouches. I think we have some in the bank, though, so let's grab those first. So, uh, we unlocked Canifis, grab the statue and the lodestone. Let's actually just grab a, uh, a task from this guy. Oh, no, we're still hunting bears. Never mind. We'll finish the bear task when we get the chance. Uh, for now, let's go to Falador and do the next cache. Hopefully, it treats us better than the last one. Oh, raw chickens first, actually. And then we'll go to the cache. Smack. 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 So, we are now 43 divination. That one was definitely better than the one before. We got about 89 points, as opposed to like 52 like we got last time. So, what we have to do is go back and start doing some more summoning for a little bit, and then start working on uh, some quests. Hopefully. Hopefully. Hello, spirits. 
So there is Demon Slayer done. Three quest points, three combat XP worth 100 XP each. And a Vernic, a Vernic Wanden book, which we're never going to use, but thank you. Uh, pretty close to a range level, so let's use some of these in there. Yeah, well, a couple XP away, but still decent, still decent. Um, I think we can do maybe another quest in between this. Or we can do some searching for items for quests we need. Like, we need a, we have a Rotten Tomato, we need an Eye of Newt. Uh, we have ashes. We need to make a fruit blast. So we need a shaker, a cocktail glass, two lemons, a pineapple, and an orange, which we can all get from the Grand Tree, I believe. So let's head over there and then finish the first recipe for disaster quest. So we finished the first one pretty easily. We got all the ingredients and then just finished it straight away. So we just need to do uh, the Evil Dave one, which our cat isn't fully grown yet. So while we're waiting for that, we could work towards Shadow of the Storm, but we're, I think we're going to do a Nemi Forest first. Just to kind of pad the total level a little bit more. So we have to do Shadow of the Storm before we can start that one. We don't actually need anything for Shadow of the Storm other than just some items. So what we're going to do is we're going to do Nemi Forest and then we're going to do a Shadow of the Storm quest. So we finished Nemi Forest. We got 10 farming, 34 prayer. And that's about it. Most of that was prayer. We did get a big chunk of uh, mining XP as well. So if we can find a shooting star, we might do that. But for now, we need to do... Uh, Shadow of the Storm to try to get that as fast as we can so then we have enough time to do freeing Evil Dave and Evil Dave's Big Day Out if we can to finish this off. If we can do that, that'd be amazing, but we'll just have to wait and see. This is strange. We can apparently stack scimitars in our, or scimitars in our, uh, in our hands. Can we do that for extra damage? Please? We're going to need it. By the end of this quest, we should have a fully grown cat, and we should be good to go on the RFD for Evil Day. Hopefully that doesn't take us forever, though, so we have time to do Big Day Out. But let's get on with this one. Okay, so we got that. We got 35 HP. Uh, so now we can go do the uh, RFD Evil Dave and get that one done and over with, and hopefully we'll have enough time for uh, Evil Dave's Big Day Out if we can get this one done pretty quick. Uh, so let's go see. We need... Uh, our cat, which we have, a bucket of milk, and up to nine bowls of stew. So let's go to Sears Village and buy some stew. Just give me your milk, cow. Okay. Okay, so now we have everything. We have the nine bowls of stew with the cat, everything that we need. So let's go inspect Evil Dave. We'll go back to Lumbridge and then go into the thing, inspect him, start the quest. And then we're on that grind to get that perfect stew. Doris, Doris, we're coming to save your son. We're on our way. This is going to be the long part, so hopefully we can get through it pretty quick. Find all the spices we need, find the right soup, or stew rather, and then get this part over with, because this is going to suck if it takes a while. So we got the perfect stew. It, it was actually went a lot faster than we thought. We didn't even have to use all nine. So we can actually just go and feed this to him, and then that's quest is done. So let's head to Lumbridge. Make sure we don't eat the stew. If I eat the freaking stew, I'm going to literally just quit, but we're not going to eat the stew. We're going to feed it to Evil Dave. Right click the stew. I'm not even going to touch my mouse until we get to Lumbridge. Actually, I have to because I have to move. But we're going <laughs> to... I'm not going to touch my inventory until we get to him. But we're going to feed him the stew, get this part done, and then do Evil Day's Big Day with plenty of time, dude. Plenty of time. So let's do this. There we go. I didn't eat the stew, dude. Poggers. There's that quest on 7k cooking, actually. That's pretty good. Spicy stew. All right, we got a Hellcat as well. We're now up to 36 cooking, which isn't too bad. 731 total level. Micro ended his day at 868, I think, which is pretty high, but I just want to be within 100 of them, and I'll be happy, honestly. So let's just keep grinding. Let's get Evil Day's Big Day Out done, and we'll be happy. We'll be happy. So I'll see you guys uh, when I start that one. Let's go. I'm so pumped that we're actually getting this quest today. I thought it was going to be a disaster at the start. Everything was going wrong. But now we're getting the quest that we wanted to get today. Gonna start it. Look at these rewards. 50k magic, 20k air blower, 20k agility, 20k cooking. That's pretty much all we need from this. And then tomorrow we can work on, or tonight if we have time, troll stronghold and um, maybe one small favor if we get around to it. But we'll see. We'll see. Oh, the doom, dude. We're gonna get this done. Uh, in time for the next cache as well as so we can get the rest of our points. Plus all the XP we're gonna get from this. So let's see right here. Not been a pleasant day. Yes, Doris. Thank you, sweet. Yes, I know. Thank you. Wow. Ooh. Look at this dialogue. It's my favorite. Ooh, look at it go. Maha. 
Uh, XP, please. Can I have the XP? There it is. 50k magic, 20k herb lord, 20k agility, 20k cooking. And then the rest of the stuff that I don't really care about. But, let's use the lamps. Okay. 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 And okay. Brings us to 762. So, we're actually five levels, no, six levels away from being... 100 exactly 100 below micro so we still have an hour to make uh some some gains on that so what we're going to do right now while we wait for the cash is what we're going to do we're going to head over to uh all the places we can buy some chickens from so if i look up raw chicken again let's go to alcarid and then we're going to go to canifis uh and port serum to buy some more uh, raw chickens, so we can do some more summoning. So, now we're gonna jump into this next cache, and hopefully get as many points as we can. Um, it's just us and two other people, which should be good, we only need to get 65 points and then we can leave. And then that'll, that'll probably get us our next level, maybe to 45. And then next time we do caches, if it does get us to 45, we can do the bigger jars and get 100 faster. And waste even less time, dude, heck yeah. Just gotta keep schmacking, we're at 50, we need 15 more. Still over a minute left, so that's perfectly fine. Perfect. Another level in Divination, so we're up to 763. Um, let's run to Damonheim to Bank. We got another Divination piece as well, that's pretty cool. Um, then we're gonna do our Chicken Summoning, and then we might do some Fletching? Or no, no, we'll work towards, uh, Troll Stronghold. I don't know if we'll be able to get it today, but we can do Death Plateau, and then if we don't have time to do Troll Stronghold, we'll do some, uh, uh, just grinding. So let's see here, let's go back to Taverlet and get these things done. As long as I'm within 100 levels, I will be proud of myself. The people, the chicken people only had, they didn't have enough for like multiple inventories, so we're just gonna do Death Plateau now. We still got a summoning level from that, so it's not a complete waste. But, let's do this quest quick. And then maybe if we have time we can do Troll Stronghold, but we'll have to wait and see. So we killed the map, that's Death Plateau done, and we still have about 40 minutes, so I think that's more than enough time to do Troll Stronghold, or at least start it, and then we can finish it tomorrow. I just gotta remember where the uh, safe spots are, and then we can uh, get her done, get those nice two 10 XP 10k XP lamps, it'll be real nice. So I, uh, I just realized we can't do Troll Stronghold right now, but we can go get the thieving levels we need for it, and do it immediately tomorrow. So let's actually use these, all in thieving. Just because we can, and we need to. Alright, now let's teleport to Lumbridge and get some of that done. And then if we have time, we'll do Troll Stronghold, but we'll see. We just have to do a lot of, a lot of hopping and a lot of stuff in, uh, a lot of doors. Let's get going. So we got the 30 agility in actually just like two minutes, honestly. It was really quick. So let's head back to Birthorpe and hopefully get this quest done. I just gotta remember where the safe spots are. First part of the quest, let's see how fast we can do this. Hopefully faster than some of the stuff in Dungeoneering today. We also have to make sure we spare him at the end here, because if we don't, then the spectators are going to try to kill us. Fighting the big boy now. Not taking too long, thankfully. And we've still got about 20 minutes left, so I think we'll be fine getting this quest done. We just have to uh, make sure we don't have to fight the other guys. If we do, we'll have to do some kiting, probably, because those guys are going to be a little bit tougher. So hoping we don't fail this pickpocket. Uh-oh, okay. Let's hide behind here. Safe spot. I think that's a safe spot. If not, I can just... Oh. Okay. That was... interesting. I thought we were gonna actually have to fight them. Let's go back to Birthorpe, and that's Questo Dunzo. Easy two 10k XP lamps to basically end it off, but we're gonna do some fletching. For some quick levels to end day four off. We did well. We did well better than we thought uh, when we started it. Because the beginning was complete dog trash, honestly. <laughs> With all the things that went wrong in the dungeon and the, uh, the cache. But after that, it all went uphill, so we're pretty good. Yerp. Give me those lamps, dude. Yeet. Alright, so let's use one in smithing. 
Yeah, let's use one in smithing. 35 smithing, not bad. And then we can use one more in, uh... Let's do it on strength, because I think we'll get more levels from it since it's, uh... Already got lower XP there. Oh, we got 35 anyways. I think it was going to get us 35 no matter what. We are really close to 36, though. So I might go grab that. Just to yoink a level, and then we'll head off and do some fletching. We only have one minute left, or a little bit under that. But it's, uh... It's coming down to it. We got 15 fletching, 36 woodcutting. Total of 784 so far. We might be able to grab 16 fletching if we get lucky. Just keep fletching. Yeah, we got it. There it is, 16 fletching. That's probably gonna be the last level of the day. So we'll just toss that in there. Call it a day. Perfect timing, actually. 16 fletching, 785 total level. Micro is at six or er, 868. So he's let me do that. Let me get a calculator out real quick. So if we do 868 minus 785, he's 83 levels ahead of us. So he's got quite a gap, but he is getting to the point where it's going to be a lot of just normal grinding, which is kind of good, kind of bad, because he may f he does know all the good methods for, for grinding fast, for the most part. Um, I'm going to have to do some research. Uh, we still have the opportunity to maybe do one small favor, because we have all the requirements for it. There's just It's just a long quest, so I don't know if it's going to be worth it. We'll have to look into it, and I also don't know if we can do the fights. No, we should be able to do the fights. Level 63, level 35, we should be alright. But, um, if we can do that, that's another two 10k lamps, plus a thousand XP from smithing. Uh, the skills have to be over 10k, so it's kind of like, uh, Troll Stronghold that we, like we just did. So we can put those in, like, thieving and, uh, something else over 30, like, runecrafting, maybe, maybe fire making. But yeah, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be nice. We caught up further than we thought we were going to because of the beginning of the stream. The beginning of the stream and video was just rough with the, the dungeon being awful, the cache being awful. But we came back, we got all the points in the cache we could. Um, we got the crafting level we needed, even if it did take an hour. We got the agility level pretty quickly. We got Evil Dave's Big Day Out done, plus all the requirements for it, and Troll Stronghold done. So this was a really big day despite how far um, uh, behind we are. At least we're over. Uh, I mean, we're under 100 levels behind. We, uh, we're we honestly closer than I thought we were going to be. So as long as we can keep under 100 total levels behind Micro, I will be satisfied. I'll be proud of myself because it's, uh, it's just a matter of proving myself at this point. I've learned so much over this challenge, both about the game, about like video making, editing, which is what you're seeing right now. Plus all that other stuff. We have a um, couple more days, maybe one, maybe two, before a winner is declared. We are a total of 215 levels away from 1,000, which we could get in if we get Dungeoneering up to a decent amount, like 25 levels, get to like 35, plus 25 here, 25 here, um, plus a couple levels in these other ones. And we should be pretty close. But we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens.